Kim Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Quilters, so many of you have been making face masks for your family, schools, and community. In response to the overwhelming demand for dyes to cut these vital items, AccuQuilt has designed a smaller fitted face mask dye for both adults and children. This dye can be ordered directly from AccuQuilt.com. Introducing the new Go Fitted Face Mask Small and Adult Child Dye. It's small, compact, and fits in all of our Go Cutters, including our Go Me. Now, there are two sizes of face masks on this dye, one for the adult and one for the child. In addition to the dye, we are offering a Go Mask Making Starter Set. That includes the Go Me Fabric Cutter Starter Set, the Go Fitted Face Mask, Small Adult and Child, and a Go Cutting Mat 6x12. Go to AccuQuilt.com to order your set now. Now quilters, this is a great die to use up your scraps. You can download the free patterns to make these masks from our website at AccuQuilt.com. I'm gonna show you today how to cut and sew the adult portion of this die. So basically what I've done is I found some scraps and I have put wrong sides together. Now remember quilters, you want to measure from here to here at a quarter of an inch and just rough cut your fabric. All right, now I'm going to use my 6 by 12 cutting mat and run it through my Go Me. You'll need four layers of fabric total for the mask and the lining. All right, as it's come through the cutter, some static's built up, so you want to give it a little love. Slide that mat, don't lift. And now look, ta-da, we have cut our perfect face mask shapes. Now the rest is so easy and fast. Basically now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put right sides together and I'm going to put in a little pin and I'm just gonna sew the curved edge with a quarter inch seam allowance. And I'm gonna do it for both the outer portion and the lining. Okay. Here we go. Okay, and now I can just chain piece these to sew them together. All right, there's the first one. I'm gonna use that as my lining, and I'm gonna use this one for my outer piece. Perfect. All right, give it a little snip. Okay. Now what you wanna do is you want to match up the seams with right sides together. Okay, so I'm gonna find my right sides, make sure I have the top and the bottom the right way. Okay, now here's kind of a pro tip. I'm just gonna sew the top portion first and then come and sew the bottom portion. So see how I'm taking my seams? I'm gonna press them to the opposite sides so that piece lays flat and then I'm gonna give it just a little bit of a pin. Okay, so I'm gonna start from this side and just like I did before, I'm gonna sew a quarter inch seam. This is such a fast and easy project. It would be great for a, someone who is new to quilting or sewing or maybe even teenagers that are learning how to sew. It's a great dye. Okay, so now I'm just gonna keep coming here, a quarter inch seam. Take out my pin. Okay. And now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the bottom seam. I wanna make sure that I've 
turned my seams the same direction. So it's the same on the top as it is on the bottom. Look how fast this is going. Great. All right. Now that I've stitched my mask together, I'm going to turn it inside out and give it a little press. Think of how fast you could just make dozens of masks if you needed to. Okay, so I'm going to just turn it inside out, take my fingers, kind of pull along there in that seam, make sure it all comes out flat. Do the same to the other side. All right, and then I'm just gonna take my iron and I'm gonna press right here along the seam so that it lays nice and flat. Okay. here. Perfect. All right. So now, Coulter, you have a couple of different options on how to finish your mask. Let me trim these here real quick. Um, with elastic. So this one is um, just some elastic that I purchased online. And so basically what I've done is turned my seams in like this and I'm gonna give it a little press so that seam lays flat. And I'm gonna do it on the other side. Again, I'm just gonna turn this in just that quarter of an inch. Okay. Press it down. All right, and then all I'm going to do is take my little um, straps here and put them inside and I'm going to top stitch. Okay, so that's the one way you can do it. Or you can do like the lovely Erica did. She just took eight inches of elastic and instead of turning it in, she folded it over twice and just stitched along the edge here. The great thing about both of these is that you can adjust the elastic. With this, you can adjust the elastic by moving the little tab. But if it's too big on this elastic, you can just tie a knot. The last option is you can actually use fabric straps, which is what I've done for Oakley because I found it works perfect on top of her ponytail. All right, so let me finish this here real quick for you. Look how easy this is. And I'm just going to top stitch at a quarter of an inch and then do the same on the other side. Okay, and let's do this side. And ta-da, I'm done. Quilters, get creative with your masks. Choose matching fabric for your whole family. Maybe you want to personalize them with embroidery or add an applique shape for a seasonal touch. Whatever you do, AccuQuilt will be there to help you cut time so you can quilt more. <laughs>